Hello, anonymous patrons of the interwebs. My name is Purpleite. Uh, wait, no, hang on, that's not right. I'm not Purpleite. I'm Claire Pearl. Let me try that again. Hello, anonymous patrons of the interwebs. I am Clear. Uh, shoot. Uh, okay, uh. Purple Pearl. No, uh. Um. Clear. Purple, uh, clear pearl. Name's Clear Pearl. All right, let's do this one more time. Okay, I can get this right. I can do it. I can do this. I can. I can. I can talk and stuff. Let's do. It. Hello, anonymous patrons of the interwebs. I am Clerpolite. Damn it! All right. So anyway, uh, there. I'm just. This isn't a blog per se. This is actually to do with the LPs. Um, there's a slight problem with the videos recently. You might be able to tell the problem by what's, you know, around me. I'm at college! So this is a dorm, in case you couldn't tell. My board's a little empty at the moment, but I've been here for, like, a month, so you'd think I'd have, like, posters or something, but I digress. Anyway, uh, I'm in college, and so, yeah, I haven't been doing as much. Like, I did so much over the summer, right? I mean, I even put up that trailer and everything. I still didn't do anything, but, uh, please don't shoot me for that. Let's, uh, let's just, uh, water under the bridge, that whole trailer thing, yeah. <laughs> uh, that, uh, let's, let's just forget about that. Anyway, um... This has to do with the Skyward Sword video specifically. Uh, we actually, Purple Light and I, we finished the game. We recorded every bit of it right before I left for college, like a month ago. And I've been uploading an episode or so every couple of days. It would be every day, except I keep forgetting. But <laughs> uh, again, water under bridge. <laughs> but um, it's been like a week since the last video I uploaded. And uh, well, I mean, you might be like, well, you have all the videos. Why aren't you uploading them? And well, the reason for that is because they're missing. The last one we uploaded was the last one I have on the hard drive that I brought with me to college until a little bit later in the game. And uh, I figured you guys might want to know what's up. I figure if you really want to know what's going on, you could just, uh, you know, watch any other video and it'd probably be just fine. But, uh, you know, screw it. We're better. We're better because we're, we're freaking Clear Pro Productions. Yeah. I figured I would just recap what you missed. So here we go. Here is exactly what happened in the videos that you missed. Because we're not playing through the entire game again just for this part, so screw you. Alright, so uh, the place we left off from was, uh, we, we had just found out that Zelda, our girlfriend, or girlfriend-ish friend with girly parts, we just found out that she is a goddess. And not just a goddess, THE goddess. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That, that, that's... That, that's kind of a harsh blow. I, I, I don't know what I would do in that situation, really. How, how, how would dating her go? Hey, uh, you gonna make something for dinner? What the fuck do you mean? I'm not, I'm not gonna make freaking dinner. I'm a freaking goddess. You imagine, can you imagine how much shit I've been through? You make your own goddamn dinner. But do you know what's even worse than that? Uh, imagine that your girlfriend, who's a goddess, uh, ended up getting trapped in some sort of magically delicious amber. Because that's exactly what happened. And now, in order to save her, we have to get the real Triforce, because turns out the one we have is completely worthless. Really? So how do we get this Triforce? Well, first we gotta go back to the future. What am I doing? So we go back into the future, right? And uh, the old lady's there waiting for us. So obviously, we're just like, Hey old lady, have any advice? Well, of course, I'm an old lady. I know everything. Oh, great. Can you, uh, you know, tell us where the Triforce is? You know, the real one? Oh, well, I, I don't actually know that, per se, but, uh, yeah, I, you can probably figure it out. You know, go back to your town, and someone will know, probably. Really? Really? Like, you, the old lady that knows everything doesn't know where the Triforce is located? Really? 
Well, there is one thing I know. Oh, really? Well, tell us. What, what, what do you know? Oh, I know that's going to involve a lot of backtracking. <sighs> what? Oh, yeah, a lot of backtracking. It's seriously just... Oh. So we head back to Skyloft, and then uh, we, we look around, we're just like, what the heck are we supposed to do? Like, how are we supposed to find a freaking Triforce? But then uh, we uh, talk to the old mayor guy, who's, you know, the father of Zelda or whatever, and he tells us, oh, you're looking for the Triforce, huh? Oh, I believe I, I believe uh, there's, uh, you know, one guy who would know where that is. Well, who's that? Well, there's this giant flying whale god that should know where it is. You could try asking him. A giant flying whale god, huh? Where is he? Well, you know, the giant thundercloud? Yeah, he lives in there. But I've been to the giant thundercloud before. I didn't see him. Oh, well, he must have been hiding behind a tree or something. I don't know. So then we go through this whole crazy adventure of having to go get some pumpkin soup. Because this is imperative to the plot, apparently. So yeah, um... We had, to, we had to actually learn a new flying technique so our bird, can, instead of just flying forward, can go more like... Spin, spin, spin. And go all like... I actually know it doesn't actually shoot lasers. That'd be really cool, though. So we meet the pumpkin guy, and he tells us that we need to give the god whale god guy, like, a ton of pumpkin soup. Because he requires it as a sacrifice, I guess. And giant whale gods crave pumpkin soup, apparently. So, of course, we have to get our stupid robot friend to help us. Hi, Mr. Short Pants. The fuck you too, robot. So, so we finally put this pumpkin bowl full of pumpkin soup at this island, and the whale just pops out of nowhere. I guess he was hiding behind that tree. Now, keep in mind that people have been avoiding this giant whale god because he's been really angry, and no one has any idea why. Although, after seeing him, I could probably hazard a guess. Now, I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure it had something to do with the giant fucking parasite in his face. I don't know. I'm no biologist, but that's probably it. Yeah, so, uh, we kill the crap out of that parasite, which is actually just, like, a giant eye or something. Yeah, it's just like... I'm an eye, and I'm just like, arrows! Pew, pew, pew. And then the arrows aren't working, so then I'm just like, swords! Ah, ah. So the parasite is dead, and the whale guy is happy again, and I finally have something to work with here to get closer to that Triforce. So tell me, suddenly not angry anymore, whale god, what do I do to get to the Triforce? Oh, that that's it? You just want the Triforce? Well, that's easy. I, you just gotta learn a new song. Really? Oh. D do you know the song? Yeah, I know the song. Well, can you go ahead and teach it to me? No. No, I'm not gonna teach you the song. In fact, I actually only know a fourth of it. Apparently the goddess isn't a very trusting person and only told me a fourth of the song. <sighs> what? Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, in fact, uh, you, uh, to get the other three-fourths of the song, you have to go back to each of the areas you've been to before and talk to all of the dragons again to get every part of the song. <laughs> so, after Link almost shoots the Whale God, the only reason that he doesn't shoot the whale god is because he still needs to learn the whale's part of the song, by the way. We decide to go to the desert first. And we get there, and we go around, and the Goron guy to, uh, has finally cleared the way, so everything looks like smooth sailing. We go in, we find the dragon, and it's dead. The, the, the dragon is dead. The, the, the one thing in the universe that knows... The part of the song is dead. God fuck. But it's okay. Because he's not dead in the past. So we're good. But turns out the dragon is sick. And he's sick with a disease that's only curable by a seed that can cure all diseases. I'm, I'm sorry, coming in? Yeah, so it turns out there's a freaking plant 
that can cure every disease known to man. And we're not farming the shit out of it for some reason. Okay. See, the problem is the seed doesn't have anywhere to grow and because it's in the desert and it's not easy to grow things in a desert. So uh, we have to go somewhere else to plant the seed. So you know what that freaking means. Yes, the one place where we can go back in time to grow a plant that takes a thousand years to grow. I hate life right now. And that's where we left off. After I upload this video, I'm gonna upload the one right after it, and hopefully everything's smooth sailing from there. So I have been Clear Pearl. I got that right. I'm proud of myself for that. And I'll see you in the next video. Even though I actually recorded the video first. So actually I'm seeing you again now. Well, I'll see you again in another video I make eventually. That, yeah, that, I think I could hold myself to that one. Bye.